What's up guys, Freedom Firearms here. So I was just doing this video, talk about as far as triggers on the pistols and why I replaced them. So if you've ever had the Ruger LC9 or EC9, you know that it has that crescent moon shaped. And as far as being a concealed carry, you know, that just when you reached around to grab it being a smaller gun just wasn't the feel. Um, this one's a flat faced trigger and it is unloaded, no mag. But just when you're pulling that trigger and having that grip that I have showed before, you want your finger is just barely, should be almost, the pointer finger should just barely be over it depending on how long your fingers are. So that's it pointed, obviously it's unloaded, but your finger should be almost like that. And with that crescent moon shape type one, just the way you pulled the trigger and then it reset on it just made it further out for the reset and then pulling it trying to keep a good trigger control with that one so that's why I replaced it on this and it definitely made it more of a clean crisp pull I mean this one on my Glock's a lot better with the reset but you can see how far this one goes out before it actually resets but when you're actually shooting this, it does seem pretty light on the trigger. But that's pretty much why I replaced this one. And this trigger has been about, say, close to a thousand rounds, and it's worked great. Um, as far as pulling the trigger fast, it's very easy to keep your finger there. And then, you know, obviously, there's a lot of people when you shoot, they take their finger off like this to try to smack it the best way. So when you're pulling the trigger, just keep your finger, let it hit the reset, bounce back, not the whole way out. It's the best way to keep, you know, good trigger control. On my Glock, it is empty. Um, just Glock triggers in general, never really been a fan of, but I got the Vickers Tango Down trigger. Um, I actually have two of these, a black one and a red one, and it's the trigger bar as well. But I also have a cross armory trigger, which I do like, but on that one, it actually comes out a little bit further. So just with the pull, I didn't like as far as when your finger went in, but this one's just, I'm, it's went through different triggers, and there was these Vickers Tango Down has just been... As far as a good trigger pull, it was, you know, real clean break on the trigger. And where how flat that is, your finger just kind of contours around it. But I did show you that it is unloaded, no mag. But when you pull the trigger on this one, you can see it's not much to that break. And then the reset right there so that's why it lets out about right there so you can pull that trigger again and that's how I was talking about earlier about not smacking your finger out just keeping it there as it resets and then pull the trigger again that'll definitely help you a lot as far as you know shooting and definitely a, something that'll help you with your accuracy is to lightly pull that trigger I mean it's kind of you have to practice with it but you don't want to smack that trigger just lightly pull it and then that'll help you with either pulling left, pulling right, you know, just you want to ease in on that trigger instead of smacking that. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about triggers, if you like curved triggers, flat faced, or what kind of triggers you like, or if you just keep the stock trigger in.